maybe uh, there's some, you know, first aid pads if the physicality increased like you wanted it to? Yeah, I mean, got better players. I got players were bigger, were stronger, I was better per se. I mean, bigger, stronger, deeper. Uh, and we're competitive right now. They feel, they sense the competitiveness. I mean, I said it in my press conference, there's a lot of guys battling for jobs. It's, that's the truth. There's a lot of guys battling for jobs out here. It's a good problem to have. So there really are a lot of burning questions, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get the, um, this field is configured differently than what, what existed before. Did you have, I mean, was that your decision? Or how did that? Yeah. What is it uh, well, I wanted a full field. Because okay. I wanted to be able to work full game day series in here, right? And then the spacing of it, we now get an O-line, D-line space back there. And then you can work punt uh, backed up. You can work kickoff, right, with proper spacing. You can go two sides of offense, defense, right, going in. Or you can go two sides going out. You just got to make sure they don't hit each other at the 50. So they got in the full field. The one way where we had that 35, 40-yard field and the 70-yard field, Right, it just kind of made it a little congested. So I just like this structure better. Yeah, I mean, talking with the 12, right? We're the worst team in it. <laughs> so you guys being inside uh, the whole practice today, is that like workload management or like, what, 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 like yeah, what's so, the process like? So we have the same, similar, 95% the same practice as we did last year, full camp day one and two. Fall camp day one and two were about 5.05 and a 5.10 roughly workload. This year it was a 5.75 and a 5.70 workload. So in the same amount of time, in the same amount of periods, right, we're getting 10 to 15, whatever that is, 12% more work done. So we needed to take a little bit off our guys. How do you do that? There's less transition in here because you don't run from field to field. We did red zone one-on-ones instead of open field one-on-ones, right? So we did some things throughout practice uh, to where we control the intensity. Like I told our guys, we blew the whistle a little bit quicker than we have been. Like I told our guys, you don't control, how you play is how you play. It's not a work management, don't play full speed day. No, let me control that. Let me, and that's what I did today. They gotta know that I'm gonna take care of them uh, when they put them to work. So today was a lot of work, competitive as you guys saw, but I'm hoping the player loads are more in the 450s, 470s today to kind of take some off of them. How about the explosive plays? nice quarterback that we see for connections today. Yeah, I mean, you can tell that they actually prepped this offseason. You know, when, when you're a good football team, it's what you do in the dark, it's what you do when nobody's watching. And uh, all summer long, we're not out there, what are you doing? And you can see the chemistry show up. I love it when the quarterback and the wide out run together after the play and they're getting on the same page. It's not like, ah, oh, why didn't you hit me? It's no, do you want me to sit there? Do you want me to stand and run? What are you looking at? Oh, you saw the mic disappear, so you threw it faster? All right, I'll look at the mic. Like, that tells me that there's that relationship that has happened all summer that they care, right? And there's teams that are doubted and teams that care. Those are the dangerous teams, the doubted teams that care. And uh, we continue to practice how we're practicing. Like I told we're, our guys, nobody's going to want to play us. Yeah, I mean, the depth is there. The D line depth, oh man. I mean, the battle there is everybody's so close and they can feel it. And, uh, you know, there are a few few scuffles today. Like I told our guys, like, I'm glad that we have some piss and vinegar about ourselves. Like, if you don't have a little bit of shit to you, now can you control it and apply it to the next block? Keep that same passion, keep that same energy. You're going to have some responses that you just got to hold in and then apply it and use that energy to football, not the extracurricular. But uh, I'm glad we got a lot more shit to us. We got a lot more people that I'd want to be trapped in a bubble with and uh, go to battle with. So we talk about that, we talk about that, that, that piss and vinegar. I mean, Jeff Sims in the, in the tough years that he had. But what was the conversation like when you recruited him? What have you seen from him so far? Well, I was just honest with him. I said, listen, I want you to take. You, you play a game and you're like, holy cow, fruit show. 85% of the plays, and these 15% of the plays, it's like you lose your freaking mind. You come here, we're gonna we're gonna calm down those 15% of the plays. We're gonna try to give you some peace of mind in those moments. Uh, and then I said, listen, we got a quarterback right now on our roster that I think is really freaking good. 
I think he's really good. So if you want to come in here and, and yeah. play your, your butt off to compete versus this kid, bring it on. But just understand, he's a good player. And I think Jeff's a good player too. And he shot a 10 and he threw the ball across his body 65 yards on a home run close and a half roll, right? Which is one of the best throws I've seen in life. And it's like one of those things you see in a pro day with nobody playing football around you. He did it in a real life setting. So uh, kudos to him. I think both those guys that we have one turnover in three days of practice now. And that's good quarterback play. We're going to win football games if we don't turn the ball over and take negative support. And I know it's a really deep uh, running back room, but what have you seen from Alton McCaskill so far? Yeah, Alto, this is his first time in the system, so he's he is not running like he can run. And then when he feels comfortable, you can see it. So I think him, we're going to see a big jump in day six, seven, eight. And so we have a couple more installs, still going to be thinking. But the, the work that kid puts in in his mindset, like that, that, that kid has that has, a, has the proper mindset to be successful and he will be successful. I'm very thankful we have him. And uh, I'm just, I can't wait to see what he's going to come. What are some of those new guys that have that edge? Yeah, Cole Martins brought it. Uh, Miles Rouser, who's not here right now, has brought it. Jeff Clark. Uh, has brought it. Wally's competitive with me. Hopefully a lot. And I think a lot. And, and that's what we recruit to. Like if if I don't feel that when I talk to you on the phone, if I don't feel that love for the game with passion to compete, like this isn't the place for you. Like I said yesterday, this is the place for misfits and people that aren't good enough. Right, and let's dance. Well, you see the excitement they have when other people make good plays. And true competitors, true competitors aren't scared when other people make a great play. Because they're like, no, I'm, I'm good. I make that play too. It's when people see success that they're competing first and they hide. These guys see, the, see their success, and they go up, they dab them up, they're excited. They talk to each other on the field. They're over there chopping it up right now, right? And just them two over here. That's the competitive nature that you want in the football team. It's not people that are scared of competition. It's people that embrace competition. And I think both those two guys are embracing the competition. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I think in spring, we had some guys, but we didn't have a lot of depth. So you can see that throughout spring practice. I think our depth is showing up uh, right now. Obviously, Malik will be back uh, hopefully tomorrow. He's been holding it back, but our depth's showing up. Uh, we play hard right now. Are you talking about Heinz and Lewis Yeah, they, they play hard. I mean, you know, they're a reflection of your coach. You're a reflection of people are a reflection of their parents. They're a reflection of their mentors. Right? You're a reflection of the people you hang out around with. And when you're around Coach Ward all the time, uh, you, you better buckle your chin strap. Whether you're in the meeting room or on the field, and you better do everything you got because that's who he is. He plays the game, he lives life with a chip on his shoulder. Why is he here? Not everybody thought he could coach wide receivers at certain levels. So, guess what? Let me prove that right wrong. Because that's all he's done his entire life is prove people wrong. And 14 years later in the NFL, I'll prove he did wrong. 11,000 yards, two Super Bowl rings, right? He's coaching wide receivers in Arizona State. Still proving people wrong. Thank y'all.